Hola, my name is AME. Welcome to AME's Green Kitchen. And today we're making chocolate. And I'm sure you're thinking, really? Chocolate? Is that possible? It's amazing how easy some things are to make. Now, before I started making chocolate, I used to think it was a really long process. But like everything that I found out about cooking, I cook under 20 minutes because I'm always hungry. I know I don't look like it, but take it for me. I love food and I'm always hungry. Like everything that I found out with food, it takes, what I do is minimal. What the fridge does is optimal. So, I mean, I, I just have to mix the ingredients together. And there's so much that is available locally. It's amazing the, the things that we have, the resources that we have, the food crops that we have. It's absolutely amazing. For instance, what I'm going to use today, the raw cocoa powder I got from Ibado. I mean, I didn't know that that was available locally. I guess I should have known. Chia seeds, unfortunately, are not available locally. They are available locally, actually, but they're not grown locally, but you can find them locally. Um, turmeric powder, also available locally. Cold pressed extra virgin coconut oil. Raw local honey. Maple syrup is not available locally. Well, at least I don't know. I don't know if there are any stores that sell them now, but I always get people to buy that for me. Pink Himalayan salt, um, black pepper, I'm using also my wheatgrass powder. Yes, I'm adding a few things to it. And for a kick, rodu. And I'm sure you're thinking, hey, is it? Most people put pepper in everything. I'm a Yoruba gay. You know, that bite if it's not sweet. If you have not put pepper inside, you have not reached there. You know what I mean? So I'm going to put a bit of pepper in there. Normally what I use is dry yellow pepper, but I don't have that available, so I'm going to use this. Now to make the chocolate, it's equal measures of the coconut oil and the sweetener, whatever the sweetener is, and the raw cocoa powder. Everything else is just an add to taste. So we'll start with the coconut oil. And I'm going to use everything that I have. So Hence why I can't tell you whether if, I don't know if it's up to a cup yet. So whatever the measure is, is what we're going to use. So we've got just about three quarters of a cup of coconut oil. So that's what we're going to use. So I'm going to pour that into the bowl. And then I'm going to mix the honey and the maple syrup. So remember we're going to three quarters, so I will stop that about a third and that's that. And I can see the measurements from where I am because the cup is graduated so I can see the measures. If you only want to put um, maple syrup you can do that or if you want to put just honey you can do that. This is just by choice. So I'm going to pour that in. Now to mix this, I'm going to use a whisk. But before I mix, I'm going to also add the cocoa powder so that I can mix all at once. So I'll use a smaller measure to take out the cocoa powder that I need. You don't need to sieve. Ideally, when you're measuring, your um, measuring cup should be on the table so that your measure is Yeah, that's about it. And most of the recipes that I use for stuff like this are adapted from recipes that I found online. I'm going to add a tablespoon of wheatgrass powder. And one teaspoon of turmeric. So those are level teaspoons and tablespoons. 
Salt is the taste and it's normally just a dash, so it's not coming out that much, don't be alarmed. So that's the salt. And then some I'm going to put some black pepper. <laughs> and then throw in my raw pepper. So we mix all the ingredients together with a whisk. That helps to incorporate everything or emulsify. If you can see, it's already thickening up. No, we're not going to drink it. We're actually going to put it in the fridge to set or the freezer if you can't wait. So that's what a whisk does. I haven't tried it with a wooden spoon. I guess you could try it, but um, I've, used, I've always used a whisk because of the dry and wet ingredients. Now, you know that I always say that normally I don't taste my food. This one's I always taste. I put my finger in it and I taste it. It's chocolate. So today, because I forgot my baking tray with my parchment paper, I'm going to use a plate. I've also done this at home and it works. So I'm going to pour it into a plate and I'm going to put it in the fridge to set. Yeah, doesn't that look good? Okay. And then I'm going to decorate with chair seats. If you have nuts at home, you can also do nuts. Also, depending on how deep the container is that you're using. So if I was using a baking tray, for instance, um, it would be deeper. So I'd be able to toast my nuts and then just push them into the chocolate. That looks like it will be okay. And then all we're going to do is put it in the fridge and let it set. Um, depending, I mean, I don't know, maybe like between 30 minutes and an hour. It might not take that long. Like I said, if you can't wait, then put it in the freezer. It will set faster. So I'm going to clean up and while I'm waiting for the chocolate to set. So don't go away, we'll be right back. Welcome back to AEMI's Green Kitchen. Now, when we left off, we had just put the chocolate into the freeze, fridge or freezer, depending on which one you want. If you can't wait, like the rest of the world, freezer. If you can wait into the fridge to harden. And I'm going to bring it out of the fridge and show you that it has hardened, and then we can cut it with a knife. Or, because I didn't put it on a tray, I can't take it out and break it off. So, we're going to use the knife to cut it. So, I'm going to get it from the fridge. Now the green that you see around the edges is from the reed grass powder. So, um, <laughs> I can't wait. See? And because it's not commercial chocolate, it's not going to stay hard. It starts to melt slightly. Ooh. Maybe I should have put in some hot water, but hey, it's homemade chocolate. It's not going to look perfect. And there it starts to crumble. Yes, yeah, so. Ideally, what we're looking for is like shards. So if you get shards, fine. If you don't, Maybe also when you bring it out of the fridge or freezer, you should wait for it for a few minutes to just come down to, not room temperature exactly, but. Mm. 
And then this is not this is a bit thicker than what I would normally use because I forgot my baking tray at home. So there you have it. And I assure you that this hits all the right spots. Spot on. It's creamy, it's sweet, it's healthy, most of all. It still doesn't mean that you should sit down and finish the whole plate. So imagine you go to the fridge every five minutes. In like an hour, you probably will be done with the whole plate. So there you have it, homemade chocolate with cocoa powder, raw local honey, cold pressed extra virgin coconut oil, some maple syrup. We added wheatgrass powder. We put some chia seeds on top of it some fresh <laughs> at Arudu for a bit of a kick and what else did we put salt and a bit of black pepper so if you are bold try it out my name is Ayemi you've been watching Ayemi's Green Kitchen see you soon